We are on the verge of the longest day of the year. The summer solstice is just 12 hours away. It is a time many cultures feel is worth celebrating. So what is the significance of the summer solstice? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned why the astronomical occurrence is revered from pole to pole. There's two types of long days. The first, when you're stuck somewhere you don't want to be for a long time, like work, school, the DMV. Then there's the actual long days based on how much sunlight we get, with the lengthiest of them all on the horizon. It's an amazing day. Thaddeus LeCourcier is the Planetarium Production Coordinator at the Bell Museum. What is the significance of the summer solstice? Astronomically speaking, it's a moment when the Earth in, in the summer is tilted towards the sun, the full in the northern hemisphere, the most that it ever does. Here is the Earth on its tilt, and here is the sun, at least for this demonstration. It takes one year for the Earth to rotate around the sun. And in June, thanks to that tilt, the northern hemisphere has its highest exposure to the sun, creating maximum daylight on the summer solstice. And of course, uh, on, on the opposite end of the Earth, uh, down south, this is in fact the shortest day of the year. But no matter the hemisphere, the sun's motion is steady. The word solstice itself comes from, from Latin. Um, we have the word sol, S-O-L, that means sun, and sistere which means stands still. Unlike the sun, people tend to get moving on this day. Like in Minnesota, Nordic countries in general, and Sweden in specifically, um, we have long dark winters. Which is why Swedes celebrate midsummer on the solstice, a gathering to reconnect with nature and honor the long days ahead, in part because of the country's history of farming. <laughs> We're coming into this time of plenty. It's not that people lived in towns and villages so much as they were separated out on their farms. And so by bringing together community, they could celebrate together. Ingrid Nyholm Lang works at the American Swedish Institute in Minneapolis, where midsummer traditions held strong over the weekend, like crafting flower head wreaths and dancing around the Maypole. In England, expect crowds at Stonehenge, where the rock formation aligns with the sunrise on the longest day. No matter your culture or country, honoring the sun's impact on our earth and on our lives is a human connection. It doesn't have to be just one way. There are many different ways to celebrate. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. Minnesota will experience about 15 and a half hours of daylight tomorrow. Up north, way up north in the Arctic Circle, the sun won't ever set meaning 24 hours of daylight.